Yo, what is up guys? Will you lead here to do another live gameplay play and commentate game for you? And today we have League of Legends and if you have seen any of my previous videos, you know that I am on quite a losing streak. So you can call this new series Hardly Losing or Losing Hardly. And the name of the game as of now is Losing Hardly. So, first things first, Singe got the same exact thing as me. I think Singe benefits more from it. Why? Because I do not need mana. I personally would not build this again because I don't think it's good versus someone like Singed who has mana like crazy. Anyhow, uh, let's see what I can do here. Right now is it is on bloodthirst. Hmm. Yeah, it, he just chunked me hard. Ooh, what's this? What's this down by? Oh, he got. It. He got that kill off. So yeah, as soon as Heck gets close enough, I will jump on him. But yeah, I think he knows. Whoa. Yeah, that's how you do it. Right now, Aatrox's OP is F because of his sustain. It's like legit, retardedly OP sustain. I wonder if this works on the turret. Every third attack restores health. I don't think it's working. Huh. Yeah, it doesn't work on the turret, unfortunately. Regardless, We'll see what we can do here. Time to go back. And you want to build lifesteal to stack onto that bloodthirster. And um, if not bloodthirster, I think Blader Rune King is, if not an even better item to build on him. You just want that extra life steal to go with your bloodthirst passive, making you like unkillable. Anyhow, let's go ahead and tell you over here. They have a Zack Jungle, which is dangerous. Ooh, not good. I almost died there. That was not a good trade for me. Okay, so obviously W is what you want to max first. The question of what you max second is more subjective. I personally think maxing E second is better because you can spam it from a distance. It is a ranged attack. Whereas for something like Q, like that's like if you use it just to harass, you're putting yourself out there and then you're you're throwing away your escape. So I would not bother wasting a Q on it. Now the reason why I um, ooh. the reason why I pop my crystalline flask flask over the HP pods because what they are free rechargeable um, what do you call them free rechargeable what's the word I'm looking for charges so it's always better to go back into a lane and use that because if you do then you you aren't actually uh, using any money which is very good <coughs> alright we got the kill off burn flash and all for it but it was so worth it uh, is Zach coming right now? Well. Even if he does, he can't do anything because I just life steal the heck back up to full HP. Isn't that crazy? I'm telling you, the, the life steal on this guy is just ridiculous. So I'm gonna keep pushing because I can. 
and because I'm OP like that. And I'm going back off here. So yeah, we are dominating right now. And now I want to go, let's see here. Boots for mobility. I'm going to go Boots 2, Berserker Greaves. I don't need any form of defense because I don't see anyone who I'm very scared of. I'm mainly scared of CC and like the only CC I'd be scared of is maybe Lulu, maybe Zakin. That's not too much. I think I can handle it. So I want this, which is pretty much making me stupid glass cannon, but it's well worth it. And for, for Aatrox, the thing you have to uh, worry the, mo the most about is when to turn on your W and when to turn off it. When do you want to lifesteal and when do you want to burn your HP to do damage? And that's a very important thing. Right now I decide to keep it at lifesteal because had I switched to damage I could have possibly just died. It's kind of like Mundo W. You don't want to use it at the wrong time. Right now I have to escape with it, with my Q. So it's a very, very bad time to use anything. Okay, this is bad. Hopefully Zach isn't nearby. Right now is a time where I'm debating using an HP pot. Why? Why use it over something that's free? Why, why over Crystalline Flask? Well, it's because it heals HP faster. And if I really need that, then that's what I have to do. Ooh, I, I thought it turned on my ult, but I didn't. That was bad on my part. He could have gotten away. Like, even if you get the kill, you always want to look out for those flaws and stuff. Because if you don't, it can end up really bad. So, um, I was advised by a diamond player that sometimes it's just better to keep your W on at all times. Because uh, sometimes it's not worth the lifesteal and it's better just to kill them faster. I don't necessarily agree. Uh, which is why sometimes I do switch it to lifesteal. Especially when I feel like I could die. Just for that sur added survivability. Right now I have my lifesteal on. I don't think I can kill him. Which is why I'm just going to back off now. And so it is close to 10 minutes now and um, I have 53 CS which is pretty bad but one of the highest in the games so I'm not too sad about that now let's look to see if we can tele gank probably not not at this point The reason why I took Telly guys is because I thought I would lose this lane because a good Singe is just super tanky and deals a lot more damage than you. And because that wasn't the case, I never had to use Telly. But the reason why Telly is such a good safety net is because if you get zoned out or if you just get harassed on the turret, and you know that if you went backwards, what would happen is they would come and take your turret. The thing with Telly is, you know, you lose like, each time you do it, you do you lose that huge gap point where you're just, you know, sitting there and um, walking back to base. Like literally that can take up to 10 seconds at a time, which is a huge loss. And you can so easily lose, um, ooh, he got away. All right. Oh well, it's okay. He burned his alt to get away, which I think is worth it. What's this? Blood well. Upon taking fatal damage, uh, Atrex goes in states. Okay, yeah. So yeah, my blood well is it's actually scales on my max HP. Uh, see here it says stores 100% of self-inflicting damage to blood well. Blah blah blah. Uh, extracts current blood and well. Plus 35% of the total well is pool and recovers it as HP. Well, I think it scales on HP. I can't figure out where in the text it says that. Let me read it again.
Oh, here he comes. Uh-oh, looks like I might die here. Let's back out. And live to fight another day. What I can do is just tell you in if he leaves. Or maybe I just tell you in now. What I'll do is I'll buy this, buy a ward so I can continue split pushing safely. Okay, so there's Zack. And here I come. Let's see if he is stupid enough to stay. Nope, he was not. So, a lot of people might miss this. Um, his alt is not just like a Riven alt where you like power up or a Renekton alt. It actually drains blood or in this case HP from anyone nearby. So if you are nearby watch, it actually sucks in blood from them. And because of that, um, you can't just use it like this, like randomly. Like you want to use the alt when there's a lot of people around, just like a Vladimir alt. And then, then you, then it does pretty much what a Ren uh, Renekton or a Riven alt does, which is power you up tremendously, giving you attack range and other stuff. Kind of like um, what's his name's E, uh, the the angel guy, Kale. Who plays Kale? That's why I don't know his name, but um. Like the angel guy, Kale. So you have to make sure you use the alt to win their people champions that are your enemy nearby so you can drain it's like an AoE effect that most people forget about. So at this point I feel like Zach is nearby. No peace mid. Well, if that's the case, ooh, I got killed. That wasn't good. I thought I could kill him by turning on blood price, but that didn't work. Yeah, so this game is pretty much won. I'm pretty sure it is. <coughs> so yeah, it looks like the tide has turned. Um, I finally lo uh, got rid of that ranked losing spree, at least on my public beta environment account. And... Uh, it's been a turnaround. Last game was also a win, surprisingly. So yeah, I forgot, I stopped telling the story, but basically, uh, most likely the upload for that gameplay will be right before this one. So just check my channel. If you subscribe, you'll see it. Um, it's the video right before this one. And pretty much, um, I was playing what I think was Draven. Yes, I was playing Draven. And the troll of, my, of the support who was... Oh, here we go. I might lose here. I'm I'm going to life steal now. Okay, that didn't work out. Oh my gosh. How is he beating me? Oh well. Anyhow, back to my story. I was losing pretty bad as Draven. Well, actually, when I started, I was doing decent. Then, three minutes into a game, we go for a trade. 
I lose. Zyra support dives in too deep, plays badly, and loses as well. So they get a two for zero exchange on us. From there, Zyra decides to straight up quit. Yeah, that's right. She straight up rage quits in less than five minutes into the game, and that was pro that was the third death of the game. So from there, it looked pretty bad, but we all continued playing. We all the rest of us had positive attitudes, and we were rewarded because we won, and we won hard. All three of my teammates carried me hard. They all went into double digits by far. I think one one person had like 20 kills or something, 21 kills by the end of the game. It was ridiculous. Come back here. Come back here so I can kill you. You are dead too. Ah, he got away, whatever. Law. Law, he's di they're diving him. Anyhow, um, after that, they carried me hard because they were super good. Then I snowballed too and got pretty fed. And we won the game. So that's that just goes to show you my rank solo queue luck is changing. And on top of that, man, they're still screwed. Anyhow, and on top of that, uh, that's why you should have optimistic attitude and not rage quit at like 0-3. So the, the guy who rage quit deserved to lose and... The rest of my team was good and deserved the win. And that's how you carry yourself out evil hell. That guy will continuously rage quit after like getting first blooded and he will drop an elo. Whereas the other guy, the other people who do not do this, they will actually uh, win. Whoa, I'm still not dead. Huh. Wow, when I revive, I almost pretty much revive with full HP. Isn't that insane? I wonder what happens if I build a guardian angel along with this. I wonder what pops first. I believe the guardian angel pops first because passives are the most important and most innate. See what I can do. I can probably end this game if I wanted to. And now I'm gonna run. Oh yeah, let's get this last inhibitor before that happens. You're dead. You're dead too. Nice try KSing that. <coughs> yeah, I don't want him to end because I want to see what happens if I go Guardian Angel. Oh well. Looks like it's over. So I could tell you an end if K can't, but... Looks like it's over anyways. Anyhow, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace out and subscribe.